Hey guys, Caroline here. Today is the 11th of May 2020. Now this video is being posted on both of my YouTube channels. So you're either going to be watching this on my Matched Betting channel, which you might notice has changed its name from Matched Betting Newbie to Sports Betting Newbie, or you'll be seeing it on my trading channel, which is Sports Trading Newbie. So, <coughs> excuse me. I have just shot another video for this channel doing another profit diary, um, which has kind of been a catch up video over the last five months. Obviously, in the last couple of months, coronavirus has come along and screwed up sports for most of us, um, so things have changed. But um, this sort of quiet time that we've had over the last couple of months has given me a chance to really think about what I want to do. Uh, going forward, you know, I'd got to the point where I was pretty much doing something in sports on an almost full time basis. Um, I have other businesses, I'm a software developer, um, so this isn't all that I do, but I was spending a lot of time on it. So, going forwards, I've noticed that there are three specific things, kind of four that I focus on and what I've decided to do is to bring it under one single umbrella and so I'm going to be rebranding to sports betting newbie rather than matched betting. So as a little bit of history for those of you that have watched my channels from a long time ago I started match betting um, this was this is my introduction to sports betting so going back even further I have absolutely no interest in sports. I hate football. I dated a footballer for 10 years and never watched a game live. I think I might have been roped into watching an England game once. Hated every minute of it. I don't watch horse racing. Uh, I have occasionally watched tennis. But I have no interest in sports. I have no interest in betting. However, I found match betting in the summer of 2018 and I started making money with it very quickly. Um, I put a playlist on this channel, my profit diaries. Um, let's go back to the oh, wrong one. Oh, it would help if I knew how to use YouTube. Okay, so yes, on the very first day, I made £48 on there and then I have posted diaries all the way showing my profit. So this £200 I think I saw here, this was after the first week I had made 200 quid, and then it's just gone up into the into the thousands and the video that I'm just about to post is up to 8,000. So I made good money from matched betting but it wasn't enough. One of the things that I learned quite quickly going in is that match betting is short term money. You are exploiting offers which are offered by special offers which are given by the various bookmakers. And when you do that over and over for a long period of time, they kind of get wind to the fact that you're a bit of a savvy punter, you're not the average punter, and that they're not going to make any money out of you, they're going to end up losing money. And so they are going to restrict you in some way, which is usually called gubbing. So sometimes they'll just send you a nice little email saying they've reviewed your account and you're no longer eligible for their offers. Other times you don't get anything like that but the next time you go and try to place a bet you'll find that you're restricted by how much you can place. You might find you can only place five pounds or you might only be able to place 82p or I think the worst one I have is this one bookie, I think it might be Coral, I can only place 5p. <laughs> so with an account like that you can't do anything with it. So there is a limit to how far you can go with match betting. So one of the things that I started doing was multiple accounting. So this is a video which I did which has been quite popular um, where I talk about how I have taken over someone else's accounts and started match betting with theirs to kind of start all over again. Now this is something which not a lot of people talk about, it's kind of a taboo subject. Um, if you go on to something like the Odds Monkey Forum or the Team Profit um, Facebook group, you can't talk about it there. In either of those places you'll get your posts removed. Um, but personally, I I prefer to just talk about what I'm doing and multi-accounting is something that I do and it's something that I want to continue to do. You know, I've had a look around at my sort of my inner circle, my close friends and family, and I think I could probably 
get around five to six set of accounts. Um, so I very much want to pursue this more. But still, no matter how many accounts you have, at some point you're going to run out. And those gubbings keep coming and it's annoying. The more sets of accounts you have, the messier it gets. At the moment, I've only got two two sets of accounts. I've been piling to do a third for months. I was talking about it last year, doing a third set of accounts. And I think one of the reasons I haven't got around to it is because I need a better way of organizing it because it's it starts to get really messy when you've got loads of accounts and some are gubbed here and some are gubbed there and some there and then you've got a state restriction on this one and not on that one and it just gets very confusing. So that's match betting and match betting is temporary it's also not scalable so what i mean by that is there's a limit to how much you can earn say per hour you know if you get a five pound free bet you might be able to make somewhere between three pounds fifty four pounds on that you can't scale it up you can't turn that five pound bet into a fifty pound bet or a five hundred pound bet it's always going ever going to be a five pound bet and even if you add multiple accounts, that's not true scaling because you have to spend that time on your second, third, fourth set of accounts. So in terms of how much money you can make per hour, it's still going to be about the same. So it is limited in those two ways. So the second way in which I have been attempting to make money is by trading. So this is trading on Betfair and this is the reason why I created my second channel. But I'm going to be honest here, I have failed dismally so far, both in terms of managing my channel and secondly in the trading itself. Now I started this channel uh, 10 months ago, so when is that? June, July, so that's about July last year, so last summer. And almost a year on, I still haven't been profitable with trading and I actually started trading way before I started the channel. I have been dabbling with trading now for around 18 months in two specific areas, football and horse racing. However, despite my failings, I can see the incredible potential of trading. If you are trading a highly liquid market and what that means is market where there's a lot of money being matched, um, you can have, you can put in stakes as high as you like. You know, I'm starting off by practicing with stakes of just five pounds. Um, so the profit on there is usually just a few pence. You know, if I make a profit, if I make a loss, I lose a few pence. But if you look at the pro traders, people like um, Peter Webb, who's the creator of Bet Angel, which is the trading software that I use, you know, he uses stakes. I've seen him use stakes up to a thousand pounds. And the kind of money that he makes on races is huge. Now, obviously, he is probably one of the the best traders there are and there's other people like that but the point is betfair trading if you can become profitable in it is scalable and in terms of whether you trade football or you trade horse racing or you trade tennis or any other sport whatever it is there's so much on well when there isn't a global pandemic affecting the world generally speaking there's plenty of sports there's tons of football there's tons of tennis golf Horse racing, you know, horse racing is on pretty much every day. I think it's only three days of the year where it's not on when we're not in a global pandemic. <laughs> so the opportunity is there. And because it is so scalable, the opportunity is there to make a good, a good amount of money, a good hourly rate. So this is something that I really want to pursue. So, but however, the, the channel itself, I haven't managed this channel very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything on the one channel. I'm going to be putting my um, match betting stuff and my trading stuff on one channel. Uh, and there's a third thing as well. Something which I have not talked about anywhere on any of my channels, but it's something that I've actually been doing for well over a year, and that's called value betting. Now, I'm going to do some videos talking in more detail about each of these things and what they are and, and how I, I do them. But basically, value betting, to most people on the surface from the outside, it just looks like straight up gambling. It is just placing bets on sporting outcomes in order to make a profit. So, you know, most people just say you're just gambling. And in actual fact, sometimes if I meet new people, I remember meeting somebody at a 
a social thing a couple of months back and I said what do you do for a living and I said oh, I'm a professional gambler <laughs> which I thought was hilarious and they kind of looked at me with a sort of look of horror um, but anyway value betting is something that I'll go into on more details now there is another way in which I do make a little bit of money and that is casino um, casino though I don't enjoy doing it um, I, I probably put a video on it I have mentioned it a few times it's like here I there's um, a casino offer there there's the odd video that I've done on various casino offers but generally speaking I find casino to be highly irritating and the only time I really do it is say in the evening I've got Netflix on and I'll have another uh, another screen where I'm just doing some casino offers um, for a couple of hours while I'm watching TV other than that I don't like doing it I don't want to waste my time on it so the focus of this channel is going to be matched betting betfair trading and value betting and what I will do going forward is I'm going to change um, sort of the thumbnails on the videos I'm probably going to have some kind of color coding to make it very clear um, you know which subject I'm talking about I'll set up playlists for the different things because I imagine that most people are going to be interested in one thing primarily and not necessarily the others so I don't want to just throw up a, a load of jumbled videos at you um, which is going to be annoying so I'll try to make it clear okay this is a match betting video this is a trading video this is a, a value betting video now one other thing I have done is I've just started tinkering around with a website here looks absolutely awful <laughs> this is a basic WordPress theme I've just put a few posts on it um, what I'm gonna do is again I want to try to organize my content a YouTube channel is great for pushing out new videos but it's not necessarily the best way to present everything uh, there are some cases where I want to talk about something but an article is better and in that case I'd rather write a blog post on it and also on here I can sort of separate out things a bit better so you can see I haven't um, set this up properly at all yeah I've, I've literally just put this up today um, but I can organize things better so perhaps I could have you know where I've got playlists here I, I can put something on here which is structured a bit better and also search functions tend to work much better on blogs I've noticed this the YouTube search is, is pretty useless it's not very useful at all so if I if I have anything useful on there I'll put it on there I'll probably put it in a link to the to the um, videos but at the moment the, there's nothing really there um, at the moment so don't get too excited um, so yes so that is it um, yeah that is basically it I'm now going to be sports betting newbie and trying to be a little bit more organized going forwards oh yes one thing I also wanted to mention what I wanted to do was merge these two channels together I thought YouTube would have a function for that but they don't um, the only way you can get content from one channel onto another is to literally download them from here and upload them to the other one but if you do that you lose all of the original data so you lose what time it was uploaded you lose the comments the views everything and um, which seems completely pointless I was very surprised that YouTube didn't have some kind of merging functionality so what I will do is I'm simply going to abandon this um, sports channel uh, the trading channel here so this video is going to get posted on it um, and I'm sure people will still end up subscribing every now and then but I will not be putting new content on this channel everything is going to be going on this one but I'm not going to delete it because I, I don't like to delete content so I'll leave the videos there in case anyone wants to look at them um, but I you know to be honest they're not much good you know there's nothing useful here because I still haven't made a profit so I you know you're not missing much so as things go forward you know as the sport starts to return I'll be posting new content on all three of those subjects okay uh, this has been quite a long one so apologies for that um, and I'll see you in the next one thank you very much for watching